So for many of us as Transformers fans, today is probably a day you're looking at all the gift cards you've gotten, trying to figure out what Transformers you're going to buy, either at stores or on online retailers, or you're probably trying to open up all of the Transformers that you still have yet to open to try and figure out how they turn into whatever modes they do and uh, what have you. But unfortunately, we have some sad Transformers news today, and that is if you're a Transformers animated fan, uh, unfortunately, Derek J. Wyatt has uh, reportedly passed away, and I'm going to talk about that. So without further ado, let's sit back, relax, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and let's transform and roll out. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon, becoming a channel member, or purchase some merch on my Spring Store today. Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal. I am back another video, and today, of course, I am talking about the passing of Derek J. Wyatt, which uh, we have news that he has reportedly passed away. Uh, we don't have much as far as information is concerned, all that we do know. But what we do know is that his sister uh, has given information to Josh Perez, uh, but he had gotten news that uh, Derek had passed away suddenly, and it was before, sometime before Christmas. It seems that, like there was no information that we have about it yet. I don't know any details at all whatsoever. It says, I'm obviously, I'm guessing close friends, and those were, you know, pretty much like passing the news out privately. Until now, of course, it is becoming a lot more public. And it's unfortunate, because Transformers animated to a lot of people... Uh, meant quite a bit. It is, you know, the the one of the major Transformers series. It had 42 episodes, ran, I believe it was 2007 until 2009 was the one the third season had uh, was airing, and uh, it was was going to have a fourth season, but it was unfortunately canceled because of uh, the Hub Network and Transformers Prime. So Transformers Prime pretty much killed that. But a lot, of the, a lot of people didn't, you know, a lot of people really loved the art style. Some people didn't love the art style. It was very cartoony. Uh, Derek, you know, also worked on Teen Titans and Ben 10. And unfortunately, he had passed away at some time before, sometimes before Christmas. Maybe it was a week ago. Maybe it was two weeks ago. We don't have, you know, we don't know if it was like an illness or something happened. We just don't know. And I'm not going to speculate. Um, what I am going to do uh, for this video, though, is I'm going to give at least a, you know, a my heartfelt condolences to uh, his family and to anybody who has worked with him, has met him over the years. From what I understand, and obviously reading interviews uh, such as this one here that was on uh, TFW 2005, uh, actually has a very long, detailed uh, interview with the guy. And, uh, you know, he, you know, obviously this is a self-portrait you know, done for Cartoon Network, you know, using the Sorry Sumdeck, or not sorry, um, you know, Dr. Sumdeck, uh, outfit, and, uh, you know, with it, what he looked like in particular, and it was, it's, this particular show meant a lot to a lot of people, and I give a lot of credit for that, you know, the, it, it introduced a lot of characters, you know, you take a look at this guy right here, Generation 2 Ramjet, and I, I know that he has publicly said, stated that it did not inspire <laughs> uh, a particular female seeker, but the color scheme looks very, very uh, similar to uh, what we now know as Slipstream. We have characters like Lugnut. We have characters like Lockdown and, you know, a in my eyes, a more definitive version of Oil Slick and, you know, many more different Transformers iterations, whether it was a Generation 1 interpretation or it was a, a new character introduced into the franchise, uh, you ca you have to give a lot of credit to this guy for being very creative and having a lot of love for the tr Transformers in particular. Kickback never made it into the series, but this was what a uh, self-portrait would have looked like. You know, I mean, not a portrait, what a portrait of a kickback would have looked like had he been added to the show. So, you know, it's it's a really cool interview to read. Um, came out now 2008. Wow. It was before even the third season had aired. And uh, it's unfortunate. It really is unfortunate. I really like Transformers Animated. At first, I looked at the art style. I was like, ah, I don't really care for it. It's a little too cartoony. It reminds me of Teen Titans, which kind of 
bits because he did work on Teen Titans and Ben 10 uh, Omniverse, I believe it was, um, you know, as far as the art style is concerned. Um, and but this is the first time he was the art director. And uh, but the show was actually really, really enjoyable. Marty Eisenberg and uh, and Derek J. Wyatt, they, they collaborated, obviously, and a lot of the other people who had worked and Sam Register and a bunch of people who, who had gotten together to to make transformers animated to be one of the be- much better transformers series out there it's it, it says a lot and you know i i again i can't give anything more than my condolences i don't know what else to say um it really really stinks that's that's pretty much it and um what i really hope honestly for the future is that maybe a lot of his individual characters that he created or had a hand in creating get brand new stylized toys for Transformers Legacy. I would love to see a female Seeker mold uh, colored up as as Slipstream, you know, for the Legacy line. I would love to see Lugnut. I would love to see, you know, a, a lockdown figure, you know, done that, that really gives the character that he created justice. You know, those type of things, um, you know, being able to create more characters um, and add them to the existing franchise. It's just, it was just, it's a wonderment. But at the same time, Transformers Animated was a really good show. It was only 42 episodes long. It's just about, it's just as long as the 2001 Robots in Disguise, which is also the car, you know, the car robots anime. And, um, but it was a really good show. Um, and it was unfortunate that it had gotten canceled that did not get a fourth season. But uh, I just, I just want to give my condolences out and just talk about the fondness for it because with it there was a lot of good stuff that came out of transformers animated even if the show itself did not stick around and even if some people don't remember it you know i a lot i know a lot of fans out there a lot some other transformers youtubers that are out there really love animated it's like they're like they absolutely love that show like to them that's their g1 or to them that's their favorite transformers series I mean, I know other people, they love the, the, the live action films or Prime or, you know, old timers like myself were hardcore G1ers and, and love Beast Wars. But Transformers Animated, you know, gets a, uh, you know, should get just as much uh, recognition, in my opinion. So, um, again, I'm sorry, saddened by the, by the loss, but I want to know what you guys think. Of course, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe. Check out my other videos as well. I have more Transformers discussions retrospectives and news and more coming down the pipeline so stay tuned for all that and as always guys until next time till all are one